Hello every crafter. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this. The other week I showed you how to cast on with knitting needles. There are various options of this. It is a car seat cover just to protect your neck while you're driving. You can make them for the passenger, for yourself, deck your car out with your yarn. So I showed you how to cast on. You are working in a rib stitch. <coughs> Sorry guys, a little bit of frog in my throat. I've cast on 30 stitches. I'm working on a 4mm hook needle, as you can see. So 30 stitches cast on, 4mm. I'm using Party Time Chunky Yarn because it's got a nice colour variant to it. I just want to show you how to rib and how to do a button. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit one and purl one. So to knit, you put the needle in this way, bring the yarn over and knit it off. Then to purl, you bring the yarn back, you put the needle in through the back of the stitch and go round and pull it through. Let's show you that again, a little bit more on camera, I hope. So to knit, yarn goes to the back. You put your needle in like so towards the front of the stitch. Yarn around, pull it through to purl. Pull your yarn in front. Yarn around, so you've gone through the front of the stitch again. So through the front of the stitch, yarn around and pull back through. Now, I did 30 lines and made a square. You're going to knit and purl every stitch, by the way. Um, yeah, make it a square. Depends on your tension. Do measure your seat belt. I know that my seat belt is the size of my pinky finger. Yours might be different. Just get to the end of this for you because then I'm going to show you how to make a buttonhole. You are literally just repeating knit one, purl one to the end. This will create your rib. You can also do a few lines of this by hand and then cast it onto your machine, which is what I did on this one. It's just basically a cushion to protect your neck. Short people like me. You understand. Trust me, you understand. Now, the buttonhole I've actually done on the wrong side. This is the right side. So you're going to knit one, purl one all the way to the end. Once you get to the end, you're going to turn your needles over. I will put a link in the description on my video on how to cast on because there's so many methods. So your buttonhole, you're going to purl one because that's the first stitch that I've got down here. No, wait, it's a knit, sorry. My last row was a knit. So knits will look like this. And your pearls will be back here. Now to create your buttonhole, you're going to yarn over. You're going to ignore the pearl stitch. And you're going to knit two together. That will be your new pearl stitch or your knit on your next row. And then continue on with the pattern. So pearl and knit all the way across. I actually put one of these in my car and one of my work colleagues has been nosy and they want one. Um, their daughter's just come out of Mystic. Sorry, it's my rabbit chewing. Their daughter's just come out of a child's chair because they're now 11. And she's finding that the seatbelt's a bit too high for them. So now that I've made myself one, everyone else wants one. It's normally the rule, right? 
I will put a photo at the start of the video to show what I'm making. Unfortunately, I can't do that at the moment because I'm not in my car. I feel like I want to take the photo in a practical setting. So I'm going to do one more row of this to show you. I'm going back. So it's just knit one pearl, one all the way across. You can do this in any stitch. I prefer doing this in the rib because it's stretchier. Therefore, you can make it a little bit tighter. I'm just going to work our way back because I want to show you how to go over the buttonhole. So again, knit one, pearl one, all the way across. If you ever lose where you are, you can see which way the stitches are facing and on the back as well. So you can work with that. So I know that's a pearl and I know this is a knit. I do three buttonholes evenly spaced apart. I find these to be more comfortable than the shop bought ones. Um, owing to the fact of their size, they're not as stiff. Really missed it. Like I haven't given you enough attention yesterday. <laughs> so you're just gonna keep going. until you get to the end. Take it in for five minutes. Just five minutes, that's all I'm asking for. You guys have all seen my rabbit. It's in my pets and pests playlist. Okay, so when you got to the buttonhole, you're just going to knit over it as normal. And there's your buttonhole. Make sure your button can get through it. When you are done, you will have one of these. You can also make them as wrist cuffs if you add a few extra stitches on, I suppose. A few jumpers that aren't quite long enough or just to keep your wrists warm. And as you can see, I've got somewhat of a square and that will just fit nicely around the seatbelt. You can do it up. See you guys on the flip side. Happy crafting. Bit better than a review of a loom band, of a loom thing that I don't recommend. <laughs> it took me hours to do those blankets as well. I still don't think they're safe for children. So yeah, with these, you can do any stitch. It doesn't have to be knitting. You can crochet it. Don't forget to tie in your ends. This is what it looks like with two buttons. Again, with this being the underneath, it's going to be alongside your neck. You will not see this. So yeah, happy crafting, guys. And that is how you make a seatbelt protector for your neck. Catch you later. Bye.